But first at six, a federal proposal to put a cap on your rent. Just wasting my money, paying rent, it's, it's crazy. We've seen a, a lot of need to counter inflation, and so as you know, their costs are going up, they want to raise rents as, as well. It's an issue that has so many people in the Kansas City area looking for help. Just last year, the United Way gave away more than 44,000 referrals for rent assistance across the metro's 23 counties. And that's not surprising when new inflation data this month shows a nearly 6% increase in rent here in our region, and local renters tell us they're feeling it. It's unaffordable and it's, it's just not flexible and people are all about the bottom dollar. For the most part, I'd say it's, um, it's a lot of stress going around and um, only increases, like not anything that's staying the same or decreases or anything like that. Now let's be clear, this is an election year proposal that would have a lot of pushback. Some developers are lining up against the idea, but as you heard, there's a need for solutions to those high rent prices. The Biden administration says its proposed federal rent cap for corporate landlords is a part of a larger effort to make housing more affordable. I'm Rachel Henderson, and I spent the day learning what this could mean for Kansas City. I worked in some apartments and people can afford always an eviction, things like that. Lorisley Aguilera's career as a leasing agent taught her one thing. Rent is too high. The Biden administration says if corporate landlords raise rents over 5% on existing units, they'll lose valuable tax breaks. I think it's more targeted probably to some of the coastal markets that might have high, high levels of rent increases. In Kansas City, 5%. Is, is would be pretty high for us. Dan Moyes, the VP of Land Development with the Economic Development Corporation of Kansas City. A housing solution should be unique to each city, he says. As we look and see a 10,000 unit shortage, the only way we can really fill it is by building more. And it doesn't matter how we're controlling rents in the meantime. The end goal of the rent cap proposal is to have more first time home buyers like Lorsley. It feels nice to come home and say, this is mine, you know, and look at it and say, it's always beautiful. Just wasting my money, paying rent, it's, it's crazy. So I just decided to get a house. A house with her own special touch. This is my closet. The way I see it is like, we're gonna be here for the rest of our lives, you know? Might as well make it look nice. An investment. Whenever I come over here, like I always climb on this. For generations to come. Love you, baby. Love you, my geek. Rachel Henderson, KSHB 41 News.